Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Abyssal Horror? Uh, no thank you. What the hell? Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are back on um, one of the paradise planets that I found when we were jumping across the universe, making our billion credits. And uh, this place is... I, I renamed it Green Beauty OG. It is a pretty planet. Um, got mild weather. Sentinels are chill. And... Uh, it's it, it's a nice place. It's a very nice place. I just <clears throat> it hasn't like super super captured me, so that's why I, I decided to mark it, but <clears throat> not actually necessarily do a a base here. But I figured we'd come back here at least and um, <clears throat> finish the the quest to kill the critters, since this would be a a place to do it where we don't have to worry about uh, weather and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. My goodness. Uh, weather and stuff like that. So. Um, it is really kind of neat, though. I mean, it's got, like, green and yellow grass. Um, so, I don't know. It might grow on me. It might grow on me. And this might be the place that we actually set up our main base. Oh, look at that little fella right there. Let's go ahead and scan him. So, he's, uh... He almost kind of looks like a little deer or something. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Uh, all right. So... <clears throat> I guess uh, what we're gonna have to do is this is kind of neat, actually. If you, the more I think, the more I look at it, because of the different shades of color of, on the grass there, the green and the, the orange and stuff. So let's just walk around and see, you know, see uh, how we feel about it, and then make a decision. It is kind of nice little pasture out here. Looks like a little mountain valley. Check out those trees; those are neat. It almost looks like real life sagebrush. There's some flying critters up there. Let's see if we can get a scan on one of them. We still have um, some more plant scanning to do too. So we'll do that as well. Well, that's a weird, weird looking tree. Check that thing out. Hope you guys enjoy this episode too, by the way, and if you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to uh, consider sharing out the video and also leaving a comment. All those things do help the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Whoa, whoa. Alright, we do have a sentinel there. Let's run up and grab your stuff. Okay, so, let's keep looking around here. Look at that mountain man that thing is way the hell up there this is this is a pretty valley i'm not gonna lie i do like it whoa what the hell was that oh you son of a bitch stepped right on top you didn't even see there just for that you're giving me your oxygen those are some big old juicy stacks of condensed carbon uh i didn't realize this in our in the last episode but i actually fulfilled the Sentinel quest. I didn't think I had killed that many, but apparently we did. Scan that thing. I don't think he cares if I shoot those things, does he? Oh, he does. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. He is, uh, he is a little dangerous after all. I mean, come on, man. Cut me some slack, dude. Okay, let's just leave that one alone for now. Nice little view here. Nice little view. Okay, so let's see. How many critters are on this planet? I guess that's the next thing we got to look at. So, discoveries. We are on green beauty. There are two of 15. Wow, there's a lot of animals on this planet. Okay. So... Oops. Might as well get everything skinned. We'll head up to the space station. Uh, wait a minute. I don't know if there is a space station in the system, because I think this might actually be a... Uh, 
a special star system. Let's... I wish it would stay on where I was just at, so I don't have to keep scrolling back down through here again, darn it. Okay, yeah, so this is actually in a green star system, which means that we have emerald. We have emerald on this planet. It's not active emerald, but it's emerald nonetheless. But I think what I want to do, though, is I want to... Uh, in fact, there's emerald. In fact, we need emerald. Now that I think, <laughs> we need emerald because we gotta. We need it for the indium drive. So since there's some right here, let's go ahead and grab it. I completely forgot about that. Uh, okay, so we need to go get rid of that into here, and we use the left trigger to get that thing to the small size. Uh, yeah, so I installed the indium drive on my new starship, but. I needed Emerald to, to finish building it, so this should do the trick. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, well, where the hell are all the animals on this planet? There's a language stone, knowledge stone. We passed that one little fella up back over there. I didn't, didn't really want to kill him. But if we have to, we have to. You've learned the Corvax word for you. Hit this one. I, there's a bunch of animals down in the water there, too. Corvax word for four. Okay, I think, I think there was also another... Language stone over here, if I remember right. Wow, look at those trees. They almost look like they have snow on them or something. That is really neat. Yeah, there we go. Corvax, word for help. Very pretty trees, wow. This place is starting to grow on me, you guys. It's starting to grow on me here. I mean, when I landed here, I, I didn't look around at all. I just mined one thing at Emerald, then put the base down. I, I found the, um... I found the, uh, minor settlement, and then I put the base down and left, because I was still in the process of making, making my billion. Those trees are really neat looking, though. Stay away from me, man. Let's scan that thing and see. It's a big tree, too. Look how tall it is. Alright. What does it give? Carbon and oxygen. Neat. Can we scan all those trees? I think so. Another knowledge stone. They're, like, all over the place. Scan these guys. Pure ferrite boulders. I saw something over here that said un unidentified. Yeah, those trees are neat. Oh yeah, these palm looking trees we need to do too. I think those are probably about the largest trees I've seen so far in the game. They're like really high. Okay, let's just keep looking around here. I'm not, uh, not seeing any critters. We got a pretty good supply of dihydrogen, so I'm not going to grab those crystals right now. But I am going to grab the condensed carbon. Though we're, we actually have a pretty good supply of those too, but we need that stuff for, for warp fuel, so I'm not going to pass it up. Oh, isn't that a neat view? 
That is a really neat view. We gotta get... If we end up staying here, we've got to get that damn trading post icon off there because it kind of ruins the immersion a little bit. <laughs> uh, Carvax word for unknown. Nice. And we have ourselves a, a little module right here. Behind that right there. Alright, we got four salvage data. So it looks like we have the P thingies in Sweet Root, Impulse Incoming. Beans. Incoming storm. Incoming storm, superheated rainstorm. That's not good. Might have to burrow underground and escape that if it gets too nasty. What's that over there? Let's go check that out. Look at that big butte up there. We could build a base on top of there and have the whole view of the valley. That'd be neat. Oh, that's a that's a damaged machinery thingy. All right, what does my what does my uh, add-on thing need to charge? Technology. It needs stuff that I don't have. Okay. But what I do have is a mess of of uh, sodium. So I'm not too worried. What does that need? Chromatic metal. Output screen. Alright, what are you going to give me, man? Nanites. Nanites good. Nanites are good. We like nanites. It's 211 degrees on this superheated storm. That's not... I, I thought for a minute there maybe we had found a cave, but apparently not. A little bit toasty. A little bit toasty. Uh, that thing's gonna hurt us. Okay, there's more animals down that way. Almost out of juice in our module thing thingamadoodle. And then we'll just see how quickly uh, our hazard goes down. Once that's done, the storm shouldn't be last too much longer though. Oh, yeah, it's going down pretty quick, isn't it? All right, we probably better uh, wait this one out, so let's go ahead and do this. And I want the big one. We'll just make our, make our own cave here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that popped back out over there. Okay, so... Oh, did it just end right as soon as we got in here? What the hell, man? What the hell? Multi-tool. Oh, what is this still waiting on? Oh, that's right. We need deuterium for that. Let's charge this stuff while we're thinking about it. Okay. So, now we do have water critters, and we do have, ooh, that red water's kind of messing with my VR. Uh, we do have the water, whose one was it installed? This thing, the membrane, and this. What's that need to charge? That needs oxygen, and we have lots of oxygen. Okay, well, let's go into water. Look at this, man, red water bizarre okay we got some critters down there scan there we go what's that noise Huh. 
Why? I don't know what that noise is. All right. Can I um? Can I shoot those guys out of water? <laughs> this town's terrible, doesn't it? Oh, we got something over here too. Where did those go? I saw something over here. Oh, right there. A little scarab beetle thing with it all. He, w he went out of the water. Alright, I hate to do this to you, buddy. But, uh... The quest demands it of me. Where'd you go? You one of them turn into the rock thingies? Where the hell did he go? <laughs> He's gone. Good for him. He got away from me. He's like just disappeared. Not one of you things, is it? Bonk, 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 bonk. Might as well scan these. Okay, well, uh... I guess let's go back in the water here. I wonder if that's my oxygen thing that's making that noise. Okay, does this work underwater? Yeah, it does. Okay. We could get gold from those things. Come on, pull it out. There you go. We actually need needed those to make some stuff. Make a the water thingy too. Wow, there's some weird stuff down here. Okay, let's see if we can shoot these guys. Okay, so we killed him. Here, let's kill him. Actually, we need to scan him. No, we don't. Reload. I hope you guys don't uh, get upset and attack me. Because I'm killing you. Wouldn't blame me if you did, but that would still suck. Gotta get to this little crab thing here. It's like a crab scorpion something something. He's tough too, man. Goodness gracious. Finally killed him. Okay. Leg meat. Whoa! You guys are new? Look at that thing. Trippy. It's a mineral. Lots of stuff to scan down here. There's uh those chlorine crystal do doohickeys over there, which are worth a lot of money. I'm actually hanging on to them for now, though, because we might need them for something. I don't remember that that pinging noise the last time we were underwater. Okay, let's go over here. We did we did find yeah, these little fat fat guys. We got him, right? Aw. Look at that guy, he's kind of cool looking. He's just a digital creature. If he was a real one, I wouldn't be doing this, but... Uh, well, okay, so the thing I guess I don't understand... Whoa, he just vanished. That I don't understand is, do I have to kill different animals? Or can they all be... just kill 19 animals of the same species, or how does that work? Can I actually go down into a cave? No.
We got all that stuff skin? Nope, not that. That's probably another clam, right? Okay, well, um, here, let's grab those. Whoa, get away, get away, get away, get away. Don't want to be too close to that thing or it hurts. But these crystals that you pull off those can be worth some serious money because you can turn them into chlorine. Though, since we have serious money now, I'm not really too worried about them for money. I'll probably hang on to them in case I need chlorine. Is my oxygen thing not even, like, using anything up? Huh. Because the last time we used this, it wore out. We had to recharge it with oxygen. But it doesn't seem to be going down. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Oh, wow, look at that. Big hole in the ground, underwater cave. You know we gotta go check that out, you guys. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Oh, man. Is there anything interesting down here that we haven't already scanned? Not that I can tell. We need to charge life support. This is neat. But everything down here that looks like stuff that we've already scanned. It ends right there. Cool. Right back out through the little hole there, and let's grab one of those. Okay, so apparently that thing doesn't hurt you if you come up to it after it explodes. It's just when it's exploding. Okay, I can't get a grip on that because this other thing's in the way. All right, well, we'll fix that. Here, let's reload. It's gonna give us salt. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Abyssal horror, uh, no thank you. What the hell? That's the first time I've seen those things before. Ho oh, ho ho. I'm not exactly sure what I did to get get those things. I killed something down here. All right, is that thing going to erupt? Now I can grab it. Yeah, was it was it this thing that we that caused those things to... Yeah, I don't know what it was. I don't know what caused those things to pop out. All right, well, I think... Uh, I think that just about does it for this lake. Alluring specimen. I don't even know what the hell that is. We're gonna have to check that out. What the hell? Is what what's the alluring specimen? Is it this that thing right there? 
Hmm. I'm not sure what this what I'm supposed to do with this. There's something down there that's gonna grab me and eat me. I don't know, man. That's weird. Are we supposed to harvest it? Are we gonna get more of those horror things come out? I'm not so sure that's the right thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. That was weird. That's just candle kelp. All right, well, I guess we've murdered everything we can in the water. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna have to find some land critters now. Not sure how many more. Can we, uh, can we take out a bird? What are we on here? They'd have to be pretty close for us to hit him. Oh, we did hit it. Hit that guy. We got him. It's like a bad creature. Bad bird. Sorry, bad bird. Okay. I guess we I guess I could go back in the water and kill a few more fish and just see if that satisfies the quest. Uh, man, there's language stones all over the place over here. Horvax word for of. Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do is just keep walking around and finding critters to take out. And uh, once we... F oh, hey, look at that. There's a POI or so of some sort up here. Uh, once we do that, uh, then we'll be able to turn in these quests and we'll get a whole bunch of nanites. And then I think, guys, the next step's going to be that we're going to go ahead and set up our base. And the reason I, me I mentioned this in the other episode, but whoa, watch out for that guy. The reason we want to do that is because there are certain things we're going to learn from the base building that we can't, uh, that we're, there's no other way to learn it. Uh, like the, the larger refiner, for example. And so... Uh, I believe that's what we're gonna do. Oh, this is a secure site. Okay. Interesting. We'll have to come back and do that one with the ship. I really like those white trees, though. They 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 look like you know trees with snow on them. I really do. That's just cool. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and put a beacon down here. Uh, need two metal plating. I'll probably just keep it here until I actually do the secure site. If you guys don't know what these are, you have to break into them and um. Sentinels will come, uh, but the way to do it is to to use your ship to break down the door and then just land and run inside. Then the sentinels won't bother you. And then inside you have to you have to solve a puzzle. And if you if you get it right, then you get um, you get uh, some high end recipes that you can't get anywhere else. So we're gonna definitely mark that spot and we'll come back to it. Oh, are these uh yeah those those are those uh venom ball things that if you harvest them the sentinels will come after you it's a nice big old crystal of condensed carbon look at that thing but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna walk around 
uh, look for some more innocent animals to kill <laughs> to get that quest done. Hey! Yeah, I guess I deserve that, don't I? And start kind of looking for a base location. Place for us to, to build our base. I mean, there's so many beautiful vistas on this. Oh, look at that, look at that! I wonder if he's mean. <laughs> what in the hell is that thing? Oh. Oh, man. I wonder if we tried it. Oh, look at that. How many times am I going to say, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, cool. That's, whoa, VR, hello. That's the way to uh, enter a cave, man. Holy nuts. Way cool. And we got Vortex Cubes. I'm going to grab those because they're good money, for one thing. And we'll get Tetra Cobalt. Which will probably turn into Ionized Cobalt and hang on to. Very cool. Is that new? Yep. So many things to get distracted. So many things to get distracted. All right. This might be a mistake. <laughs> but, uh... If this guy turns around and chows down on me, I deserve it. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, we got him. Okay. Wow. He shouldn't have been that easy to kill. I'm sorry, dude. Look at you, though. Holy smokes. You're like a big, gigantic... Praying Mantis it's the size of an elephant guy. You probably could have totally messed me up too if you would have got a hold of me. Alright, well, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? We're out of time, so I'm gonna run around, kill innocent creatures, and look for a place for us to build our base. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Consider sharing out the video and leaving a comment. All those things do help the channel, and I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.